So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about creating advancements. So advancements are basically like achievements in Minecraft. So when we complete some kind of task or when we do something, we'll get awarded with an advancement and it's part of the achievement system. We would click plus and then advancement. Now we're going to type in achievement for this. You can give it any name because there's not going to be a specific purpose. And we're going to think of a name. So the GUI name is going to be the name of the achievement. So I'm going to actually make this achievement for breaking our test block that we made in the first lesson when we set up mCreator. So I'm going to change the name of the achievement to block breaker. This isn't really a play on words. Maybe you could think of a play on words. Like for an example, block breaker sounds like heartbreaker for an example. Think of like a random saying in time or something that sounds a bit witty. Make a play on words for the title, just like game developers use in achievements. And then the achievement description is actually what the achievement was granted for or kind of like a basic gist of what it is. So I'm just going to type in granted for breaking the rarest block in the game or something like that or the rarest block and then the advancement icon is the icon of the advancement so we're going to select the block that we're going to break which we made in the first lesson and the advancement background is the background of the advancement i.e if you're making a new advancement tab this is going to be the background of that tab which i'm going to explain in a few moments then you have an advancement type so we have task goal and challenge so as you can see task is a basic achievement type and it's the most common type of advancement goal is a long-term goal which you strive to achieve and challenges to test players or challenge them to do something. Now, this is obviously going to be a task because breaking a block is not exactly a goal or a feat of strength exactly. So we're going to select task. Advancement parent is where do you want this advancement to be placed in? So this is the root that you're going to link it to. So to kind of explain what this means, it's basically the advancement after which your achievement will be listed. So if you use no parent root, it will make a new path, which comes up as a new advancement tab. Now, this achievement just for breaking a block, we're not going to make that the advancement tab so i'm actually just going to attach this into the story slash root which is the minecraft story advancement tab or you can attach it to anywhere like you could put it into the adventure tab the adventure root for an example whichever tab you want to select in vanilla you can select the list here in fact i'm going to select no parent root for this because then when we test the achievement we won't need to have completed any of the vanilla ones for it to show up or be available now show toast when completed basically means at the top right it'll kind of show that celebration message that you've got the achievement which you want to select select because that gives the players a sense of reward then the announcer chat is it will write a message publicly to all players when you unlock it which it does by default in vanilla so we may as well leave that on hide if not completed yet basically hides it in the advancement tab you can check this if you want it to be a hidden achievement or a secret one kind of like an easter egg for them to discover hide advancement display is basically to hide the advancement in the tab until it's completed so it's a similar thing so i'm going to leave that unchecked the reward xp is the amount of xp you're given for completing it now the standard amount of xp for like killing a mob or a special mob would be something like five so you don't want to give too much i'm going to give 10 xp for this the reward function is executed when the achievement is completed so this is a function when the player completes the advancement now we'll be going into functions in another lesson but basically you have to create a function in m creator to be able to have one that comes down in this box to select so later when you move on to the function section and you learn about how functions work inside this course then you can learn how to link functions to your advancements as well so the reward loot tables is basically basically the loot table granted to the player when you complete this advancement so when you would press plus it would come up with all loot tables in this box yet again we're going to move on to loot tables later in a later lesson which is going to come up so when you follow that and if you create a loot table you can select it from here and people will get that item set when they complete the achievement if you choose to do that the reward recipes are recipes to unlock when the player completes the advancement as well so we can also select recipes here so when you create recipes later in this course you can also select them here now we're going to go over triggers so this is like basically the same as procedures now we're going to have an individual lesson on procedures for you to follow to completely understand how procedures work but the advancement trigger procedures are so basic that i may as well just kind of give you a general gist of it here because we are creating an advancement so for an example if you wanted the achievement to be granted by placing a block you would go on block related triggers and click this if block is placed and then you would go ahead and select the block and now if i place this custom block we created it'll give me the achievement item triggers you can use item consumed so 
when you eat a certain food, it will give the achievement. If an item is damaged between certain values, it will grant the achievement. And if a player has a certain item in their inventory, and then you can put the number of items they need to have in the inventory, then it'll give them the achievement too. Custom trigger is obviously if you want to use custom procedures or commands. And each tick is if you want to make it tick based. World related triggers. So for example, if a player enters your custom biome, you would use this to give them achievement and it'd have the biomes that you've created to select. The same for dimensions. So if you want to have an achievement for entering your dimension, you do that. Or to leave your dimension, you could do that too. I don't want to grant the achievement by the block being placed. I want to grant it by the block being broken. So I actually have to go outside of the advancement to actually do this. So I'm going to delete this by pressing the delete key. And we're going to go to utility and press custom trigger and attach it on there. All that does is it basically tells M Creator that we're going to create our own procedure or trigger for the granting of the achievement outside of the actual achievement code. So if you don't want to drag anything here and create anything in the trigger builder, you need to go to utility and drag the custom trigger box and snap it onto here grant this the advancement to the player and that just tells us that we don't want to customize here and then that allows to save it without any errors so we've made the advancement in the achievement you know how they work and what they are for so now i'll show you how you would do that so we're going to go to our custom block that we want the achievement to be given for breaking so i'm going to double click on this at the bottom we're going to go down to triggers of this block and where it says when block destroyed by player because we want the achievement to be given when the block gets broken you would press this plus we're going to create a new procedure I'm just going to use the default name, create procedure. And now in the search procedure blocks, you're going to search for advancement in the box here. And this will come up with a few procedures. So this first one, add advancement to, we're going to click that and then snap it here. And now what that's going to do is we can double click it and select our achievement we just created. And now what this does is when the block gets destroyed by the player, we're just going to press save here. It will give the achievement because we've added the procedure under the when block broken by the player under our custom block, which we created in the trigger section press save mod element and now i'm going to show you testing the achievement in game so let's jump into game and see if what we did worked so now we're inside our m creator test environment if you don't know how to test out changes in your mod or to test out your mod go back to the first tutorial where i explain how that works and now what we're going to do is we're going to spawn our custom block which is what we set as our achievement trigger to grant us the achievement we're going to place the block down now when we press l in minecraft it comes up with the advancement section we don't have anything here by default when we start a new world let's break the block and when we break it now, it gives us the achievement we just created, Block Breaker, granted for breaking the rarest block, which was our message we selected, and the name of the achievement comes up as well. So now when we press L, we can go into our Advancements tab, and our advancement is now here in the Advancements section. So it's as simple as that. We've created an achievement, and you can bind your achievement to any kind of action that the player does, or any action in the game through the Procedure System, which you'll learn a little bit more later when we get to the Procedure section, and do something similar to what I showed you, and that will grant the achievement based on the certain action you want. And you can be creative with your achievements and add a lot of achievements to give the player goals to do in your mod.